We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey, good morning, everybody. So it is 8 a.m. on a Monday. I'm at my shop. Uh, I'm not even open on Mondays. Uh, I'm, I'm here for a couple reasons. One is that um, I'm headed out first thing this morning to go search through a barn, which should be lots of fun. Um, I don't know what there is there. I've never been in this property before. So when I do this video, it's going to be the first time I'm seeing this stuff. Uh, my friend Kelly is coming along with me. He uh, came along with um, the Perry's Project video. He was out there, so sometimes he comes along, so he's coming too. We're meeting up at the shop, and we have to load up this big giant. I don't know if you see it back there. That's a uh, massive old Texaco sign, which uh, he basically just needed the frame in the back. So uh, we got to load that in Kelly's truck <laughs> and get it out of my shop. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting for my friend to show up, and then uh, we're going to hit the road. And there's the massive Texaco sign, which we have to load up. It's... Um, about six feet across. Quite heavy because it's got this, uh, it has the whole frame and the backing and the lights and everything in there. So uh, we're gonna load that up in his truck and then um, we're gonna head out to the farm in the little HHR today. So the sign is loaded up in the back of the truck there. You can see like the little HHR is dwarfed by the size of this Texaco sign. Um, yeah, so you ready to hit the road, Kelly? You bet. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> Let's head her. So I didn't take any video of us searching around in the barn, mainly because it was just a barn. We got up in the attic of the barn thinking, well, I wonder what we're going to find up in the hayloft. And guess what was there? Hey! Uh, we went downstairs and looked around and it was pretty much set up like a regular barn, so there was no treasures inside. However, we did go inside the house for a visit before we left, thinking we weren't going to find anything at all. I got a few treasures, but I also found out something else too. So let me show you the treasures first, then I'll tell you about um, how this journey ended up. First off, there was a little stack of these vintage books that uh, were from about the 1800s or so, and they're um, all art. So vintage lithographs, um, detail about the artists and where they painted. So there's about five or six of these here, and uh, condition overall is not too bad. So. I'm going to go through these guys and see what I can find out about them, but um, some pretty interesting pieces in there, really, really lithos. So as a child, she traveled across the ocean first class with her parents, um, and, and it, she'd always save a menu. So she'd save one of the first class menus and she would uh, frame it in this little frame. We also end up getting the little SS America doll there as well. So it kind of ties together a nice collection of uh, early nautical stuff from the States too. Also ended up getting this early bronze. At first I thought it was a candle holder. It might be an uh, incense burner. So nice kind of art deco, art nouveau sort of piece. And condition overall is very nice. We've got a uh, pewter burner for keeping your food hot on the table and uh, it's complete and overall uh, pretty good shape, kind of a nice piece. This is a little Stife Poodle. And with uh, Stife dolls, um, generally they'll have this little button on the ear and it'll say uh, that it's Stife on it. So there you go right there. You can tell that's an original authentic Stife piece. Uh, and they're stuffed with Excelsior, so they have really hard bodies. The bears, when you tip them, they make a growling sound. Uh, this guy doesn't have a growler inside of him, but he's still kind of a cute little piece. And a little horse statue. So this is probably, um, you know, 20s or 30s. Uh, it's got the early sort of uh, threaded base on it. And it's just a decorative piece, like a little statue. But they used to do uh, like bronze Art Deco figural pieces too. But uh, horse and equestrian stuff always seems to sell. One of the interesting things I did find though when I was searching around was this. It was... Um, invented in the 1920s. It's called a roll Monica. It's kind of like a little uh, player piano. These are all little rolls that go in there. Um, it's like a player piano but a harmonica version. So you can see it's got a harmonica built in, little cranks on the side. Um, and if I open it up, there's the roll. So um, I'm going to attempt to play this thing and, uh, and see how it works. 
So like most harmonicas, you can kind of breathe in and out. So I'm gonna give that a try and um, uh, see what it's like. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Gotta get this. <coughs> it's a little dusty. That kind of gives you an idea, and I think I've just caught the plague. <coughs> it tastes like um, a combination of like mothballs in your grandma's closet, you know, that have been keeping blankets clean, and possibly when they first opened King Tut's tomb and all that dust probably spewed out. That's about how my lung feels right now. Um, but yeah, surprisingly this thing still works after nearly 100 years. I'd never seen a roll Monica before. Kind of a cool piece. So um, yeah, one of the other cool things that I got today. But one thing that really took me by surprise is that uh, the lady whose house I visited, whose farm I went to, her aunt was a fairly well-known artist in the United States. Uh, her name was Laura Van Papelendam. She taught at the um, University of Chicago and the Art Institute of Chicago as professor and um, had a pretty prolific career doing about a thousand paintings. Um, she had a hundred of her aunt's works that are not out there. They're not in galleries. They're probably unknown pieces. Um, so she showed me them and there was some amazing stuff. Uh, really enjoyed the, the one of the leaves here. Um, just beautiful art. It kind of has that um, impressionist uh, Van Gogh kind of quality to it. Anyway, it's great stuff. And um, I've been asked by her to see if I can help find a home for these hundred paintings that she has. So I'm going to reach out to some of the auction galleries and see if uh, any of them are inter interested in uh, taking on a big collection for a consignment auction. So um, you never know what's going to happen. You go out to look at a barn, you end up with some uh, artwork uh, and end up um, with potentially helping to sell a hundred really beautiful pieces of early American art from the 1900s to 20s. So uh, just goes to show you never know where your day is going to end up from loading a sign in the morning to uh, maybe helping to sell a whole bunch of paintings by the end of the day. Um, the other cool thing she had there is she had an autograph book, which I didn't get yet, um, but she had visited um, Walt Disney Studios back when they were doing uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People, and she had uh, autographs by Walt Disney, uh, Walt Disney's wife, the heads of studio, and a bunch of actors and actresses as well. So really nice book, as well as photographs of her with Walt Disney getting the book signed. So. Um, that would be just a great piece to have in the store, so I'm going to try and get that as well. So, anyhow, if you like these videos and you like other videos that we post, make sure to subscribe. There's always different stuff happening, whether it's artwork or scrapyards, rolled cars. I'm all into all kinds of stuff, so there's videos coming all the time. Um, you can also like the video, and if you post comments on there, I try and get back to you guys and, uh, and reply back, so we're a pretty interactive channel. You can also check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca, on Instagram and on Facebook as well. And I uh, really appreciate you guys watching and um, yeah, stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys soon and bye for now.